Okay, so here's the last five of these questions from the quiz. All right, so we have, let me get a better color here. We have negative 2 negative 2 times 1, which is negative 2, negative 2 times 4x, which is negative 8x, because a negative times a positive is a negative, and then we have the negative 9 hanging out over here. And again, like I said before, I kind of think of these, it's not very mathematical, but it's family. So first of all, we have three terms in this expression, and this one has to stay by itself because there's no other term that has an x with it. So we'll just rewrite that one. And then the negative 2 and the negative 9 can go together, and that same signs add and keep, so that that is the answer because you don't know what x equals. All right, let's go on to the next one. All right, this one is really easy. If you have 5k's and then you have one more k, you have 6k's all together. And that's how you do that. It's combining like terms. We can put these together. And I guess one important point I should mention is this k that's hanging around all by itself, it's understood to have a 1 in front of it. Mathematicians are kind of lazy. They don't write it, but it's understood to have a 1 in front of it. All right, let's look at 19. Again, there's no distributive property to do, so I'm just going to rewrite this a little bigger. 2 minus 6m plus 7m minus 3. And there are four terms in this expression. These two can go together because they both have an m. And a negative 6 and a positive 7 is 1m. And these two can go together because they're constants. They don't have a variable. So 2 plus a negative 3 is negative 1. A um, more proper way to write it would probably be without the 1, but I'll leave that up to your math teachers to tell you how they view that one. All right, and then finally, this one down here. I think we're going to need a little room to get that done. All right, so 8 times 10x is 80x. I'm distributing. Positive 8 times negative 10 is negative 80. All right, so that's that part. Negative 10 times a positive 1 is negative 10, and a negative 10 times a negative 10x is positive 100x. All right, so we've gotten all the distributing done, so now we just need to look at how many terms do we have. We have four terms. These two can go together, and they're both positive, so that's 180x. These two can go together, and they're both negative, so that's 90, negative 90. And that is the final answer. So I hope this helps you on your quiz recovery. Again, your real quiz looks a lot like this one with different numbers, and your real quiz is actually a little easier. So good luck, and thank you for viewing.